Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music. I'm going to talk about how you can play through a song called They Don't Know by Rico Love. And we're going to end up cabling this on first fret to match the recording, but it starts off with this cool little guitar lick where you can play second fret on the G and do a hammer on the four, and then third fret on the B, and then fifth fret on the B, and then fifth fret is kind of a slide to set. So you got two, four, three, five, five, seven. And then we kind of almost start that over again with kind of that two, four hammer on, and then third on the B. And fifth fret on the high E string is kind of a pull off to second fret. So then you're going two, four, three, five, two. And then we almost kind of start that lick over again. That three, four, three, five, five, seven. Two, four, three, five, two. And then we kind of play third fret on the high E string. And the chords that would kind of back that up and kind of work through our verse chords would we'll, we'll start off on B minor chord. There's a couple different ways you may want to play B minor. You could do it as a second fret bar. Second finger on the B string, third fret, third finger on the D string, fourth fret, and the pinky on the G string, fourth fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a B minor chord and it sounds really, really sad. Now you may also want to think about lifting off the pinky and making that a B minor seven. Or another way to play B minor seven, we'll be doing first finger on the A string, second, second finger on the G string, second, and third finger on the high E second. And if you strum the A string to the high E string, that's another way you can play your B minor. Or another possibility for B minor would be doing first finger on the A string second, second finger on the G string second, third finger on the B string third, and the pinky on the high E string third. And if you strum the A string to the high E string, it's kind of another B minor seven, kind of big on that. And then from the B minor, then we go to an E minor chord. We play E minor. First finger stays on the A string second, second finger goes to the D string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an E minor chord and it sounds really, really sad. Now under E minor, you may also want to think about adding in the third finger on the B string third fret, pinky on the high E string third fret. You strum all those together, that's another way you can play your E minor, E minor seven. And then we kind of start that over again, kind of that E minor, E minor. And then we do that one more time, kind of that E minor, E minor. And then from there, then we go back to the B minor, but then instead of going to E minor, we go to an F sharp minor. And normally you do this as a second fret bar, third finger on the A string, the fourth fret, pinky on the D string, fourth fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an F sharp minor chord. That sounds really sad. Now you may also want to think about lifting off the pinky and making that an F sharp minor seven. Or you could kind of take your first finger and kind of cover just the top three, or the top four, or the top five strings and kind of make another F sharp minor seven. Or another possibility that comes to mind is something called an F or a D sus slash F sharp where you do first finger on the low E string second, second finger on the G string second, third finger on the B string third, and the pinky on the high E string third. And if you strum all those together, that sounds like D sus slash F sharp. You could kind of use that to substitute for that F sharp minor chord. And then we go to a G major chord at the very end. We play G major. First finger goes to the A on the second fret, second finger on the low E string third fret, and third finger on the high E string third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds like a G major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. Now you may also want to think about putting the third finger on the B string third, pinky on the high E string third. And that's another way you can kind of play your G major at the very, very end. So that last little push, you got kind of that B minor, F sharp, F sharp minor, G. And you could kind of work this, it just kind of sounds like downs the first time through. But when it comes to, to filling time, you may want to kind of, kind of think about doing kind of the down idea. And it's kind of weird. You kind of have the B minor and the E minor, and then do another E minor. So it's kind of a four hit on B minor. One, two, three, four, E minor. Two, three, four, E minor with an A. And then we have that B minor, F sharp minor, F sharp minor, G. Or you may want to kind of do a three plus five idea. It can be kind of a cool idea too. You have a B minor one, two, three. times with the song like this I like adding something called a strum pattern and one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down down up up down up so to the B minor just try that a lot you have down 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 the weird part is where, where that B minor E minor are kind of halving and you could do that as kind of a down down on, on that chord change and then hit the E minor for the up up down and kind of split the strum pattern for that so you have B minor, down B minor, down B minor, B minor, E 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 minor, E
first strum pattern that I would think about using through the song is something called a 16th note strum pattern. It's going to be a little bit challenging, but very cool. And what I mean by that is if you're tapping your foot at the B, right now we're kind of dividing that beat into two parts with our down, down, up, up, down, up. One, two, one, two, and that's called an eighth note. What a 16th note is is where you divide that into four parts. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And one of my favorite 16th note strum patterns is long down, 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 up, up, down, down, down. And what I mean by that is we took the B minor and did it down for four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's what you'd be doing on the first beat. Then on the second beat, you're doing down on one, down on three, up on four. So you're going one, two, three, four, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. And then on the third beat, you're doing an up on two, down on three. So you're going one, two, three, four, one, two, down up right along with the one two three four so down up down up down up down up down, 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 down. so all together you got down 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 up down up down 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 up down down up down 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 so you get kind of half that strum pattern for those parts and you have the b minor for the down down up and then go to the e minor for the up down down up down up down Instead of starting on, on a you know, B minor chord, starting on a C minor chord. So to play along with the recording, what you want to do is take a capo, and if you put the capo on first fret, then now your B minor is really a C minor, and your E minor is really an F minor. And when we get to it, the F sharp minor is really a G minor, and your G major is really an A flat major. But you may want to kind of kick it off with that intro leg. And that's a little weird because you're kind of one fret off from where we were originally kind of playing that leg, but you may want to kind of play it. Kind of work that for the intro part. And then we got that three. Or we could just kind of work that as kind of that down idea, the multiple down ideas, and kind of work some rhythm that way. Or if you're digging on the 16th pattern, you have the D minor, 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 D